Okay, in this video, we are going to be ranking each of the 14 soft plastics that Guggenbates has made. We've got some different tiers. We've got S, which is top tier, A tier, which is just really we're basing off of uh, B here, which is going to be our average, you know, nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't really have anything that sets it apart from other brands on the market. Uh, we have A, which is going to be slightly above average. We're going to have C, which is below average. We're going to have F, which is just bad. And then we've got haven't fished yet. And um, we ran out of room here. So the only ones that I haven't fished are the Blazing Worm and the Nuke Punch. These are the only ones in there. Um, we're going to rank these up above. We'll get started with the Dart. Uh, for me, the Dart is going to go in A tier. It's the Guggen Soft Plastic Jerkbait. I fished with it off camera and it does fine, catches fish. It's really an average bait. However, for me, I just, I really like the design, the sleekness with this launch sauce. So I, I would understand why it would, could go in B for other people. But for me, I just really, I like, it's visually pleasing to me. So I have to put it in A. Next up, we've got the Mondo worm. And to me, uh, it's, gotta go in the C and really it's between the C and the F. The reason why I say that is because the tail is really thin and when you're fishing in a pond or a lake that has aggressive sunfish, those sunfish are going to go after it, short strike it, and they're just going to rip off that tail, which essentially makes it um, a slim shake worm without the tail. You know, it's not a mondo worm without its tail. However, it still manages to catch fish. It's not completely useless after um, the tail may, might get bit off, but for that purpose, I don't think it's better than other curly tail worms on the market. So it's not gonna go in B, just in the fact that the, that tail is not very durable and can easily bit, bit bitten off. All right, next we've got the Guggen Toad. So now that I think about it, I haven't fished it that much. I don't have an opinion on there, so I'll just put that on haven't fished. Next up, we've got the Bandito Bug. And I did a video where I tested the Bandito Bug and the Rage Bug uh, together, fishing them together and seeing which one caught more fish. Uh, you guys can check that out. I'll put a link in the description. However, it's going to be a B tier for me. It's really nothing special. I know that the Bandito Bug has all this hype. Um, but I, I think it's fine, it serves its purpose as a creature bait, but I would not go out of my way to buy it over any other creature bait. Next up, we've got the Radlin Ned. The Radlin Ned, to me, is going to go in the F tier. Um, if you look at it underwater, it just sits, it flops right over, compared to a Z-Man, TRD, which stands straight up. And I don't know if it, that's because of the rattle. I really do like the rattle feature, but to me, it just, the fact that it has very little action, it just lays sideways uh, compared, it has to be an F for me. It still catches fish, but for the purpose of being a Ned bait, it, it just does not do it for me. Next up, we've got the Radlin Chunk. Radlin Chunk, I did a video comparing it to the Kraken Craw. Um, both of them we had on a jig trailer, and the, the Radlin Chunk managed to catch some decent fish. Um, however, it did not catch as many fish as the Kraken Craw, which was interesting. So for the purpose of it being a chunk bait, it, I feel like it did manage to catch the bigger fish but it didn't catch as many. For that, I'm going to put it in a B. I like the concept. I would much rather get a Radlin chunk over any other chunk bait, just with that rattle is going to attract more fish. Next up, we've got the Trench Hog. The Trench Hog falls in a very similar situation as the Mondo Worm, as those long appendages just easily get ripped off by small fish or by aggressive panfish. The th difference with it being like the Mondo Worm is that once those long appendages are off, you're just left with kind of a skinny body with some appendages on the side. So for that reason, it's going to have to go in F. Just it's easy for those appendages to get ripped off. And then you're left with kind of a half a lizard body, which is just 
kind of odd. And I'm sure that there's other creature baits on the market that are going to hold up better with those appendages. And now we've got the Guggen Monker Log, and I absolutely love the Guggen Monker Log. It has a really nice weight to it with the slunge sauce, which makes it sink and gives it a nice action when it's falling. I've caught some really big sunfish, caught big bass on it. Absolutely love the Lunker Log. Um, yeah, it's one of my all-time favorite stick baits, so it's going to go in S tier. Next up, we've got the Kraken Craw. The Kraken Craw is also one of my favorite Guggen baits. We fished it, testing it against some Rage Craws, and the Kraken Craws greatly outfished the Rage Craws, and we caught some huge crappie on these. So um, nothing wrong with the Kraken Craw, and it catches big fish, and a lot of them. So I really enjoy the Kraken Craw. It's going to be S tier for me. Next up, we've got the Saucy Swimmer. The Saucy Swimmer is just your standard swim bait. It has some ridges, which is nice. Uh, boot tail has launch sauce, but nothing sticks out to me about it. So it's going to go in the B tier. Next up, we have got the Dragon Drop. And I do not have any good feelings towards the Dragon Drop. Uh, it's designed to be a drop shot bait. However, when it's on a drop shot, it falls all the way down. It does not uh, line up vertical at all. I don't know if it, it's just poorly designed to be a drop sh shot weight. I feel like it's too heavy. You have to constantly uh, giving it your pull motion if you want the bait to stand up in any sort of way. So for me, it's going to be an F. I just think it's too heavy and a poor design. And lastly, we have got the Slim Shake Worm, which is the Guggen's Finesse Worm. And to me, you know, nothing crazy, nothing wrong with it. So it's going to go in B tier. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other hot takes, if you agree or disagree with any of my picks and why. And if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to leave a comment and make sure to subscribe as well.